Uh, hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, dealing with proposition logic, uh, is going to try to, I suppose, uh, let's say, demystify the concepts of what a tautology is, what a contradiction is, and what a contingency is when it comes to propositional statements or propositional expressions. Okay. And for our, for our purposes here, let's just recall, recall are important are important connectives okay so we're going to rely upon the not connective the not it takes in a single proposition okay and p bar is symbolized as a symbol uh, symbolizes the not p when p is false the negation of it is true when it's true the negation is false uh, we have the or which is a binary it takes in two statements pq so we have false 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 true true false true true and or is only ever p or with q uh, nor is only ever false when both of them are simultaneously false so it's false here everywhere else it's true okay and uh, we have the and and oh and and maybe i should write it like this okay once again takes in a p and a q and uh, they're false 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 true true false true true P and with Q is only ever true when both of them are simultaneously true. So we have true here. Everywhere else we have false. And then finally we have the next important connectives, which is implication. Implication. Okay. Uh, it takes in two propositions. Once again, let's just define this as PQ. Uh, false, 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 true, true, false, true, true. And P implies Q something like this uh, it's only ever false when the premise is true and the conclusion is false so it's only ever false here everywhere else it's true okay so let's just keep these in mind in mind these are our connectives okay and let me just give you some examples let's so build some true tables for some propositions okay uh, let's keep do a simple one yeah let's say we have uh, the propositional expression p or with not p okay so I want to build a true table for this. Let's just keep in mind that the, the propositions, there's only one proposition in this, it's the proposition P. Albeit there's two connectives, there's an or, and there's a negation, or there's a not, okay? There's still only one proposition here, okay? So I'm going to build a true table for this. I'm going to specify the propositions that are in it down the first column, which is just a P. The values they could take on is false and true, okay? To build the or, I need the P values, which are already here. But I also need the negation of the P, so I need the not values, okay? So I need to construct a P bar column, okay? And by definition, falses go to trues, and trues go to falses for the negation. Now I have both inputs to the OR, I can construct the OR. So what we have here is P or not P, as an example. And we know the way an OR works, an OR is only ever false when both of the inputs are simultaneously false. And we can see that the inputs are never simultaneously false here, so what we get is we get a true and a true value. Okay? So the important thing here is this, for our definition, is that the output of this particular expression under all possible inputs, yeah, okay, irrespective of what the input is, the output is always true. And we call a statement, a propositional statement that evaluates when its output is evaluated under all possible conditions, and that all possible evaluations are true, we call that a tautology. A tautology, okay? Tautology, okay? Now, uh, let's see, what's a, what would be a contradiction, okay? So, P, another example is P and not P, okay? So let's build a true table for this. Let's see what happens. So the inputs, there's only one proposition, it's a P, it could be false or it could be true. To do the and, we need to have the values for P, which are already listed here, okay? And we need to have the values for not P, which we don't have listed, so we need to evaluate not P. Okay. Well, falses go to trues and trues go to falses. That's the way the not works. Okay. And now we can do the and, p anded with not p. Okay. And we can see an and only ever gives us true when both of them are simultaneously true. That's the definition of our and. And they're never simultaneously true, the two inputs. Yeah. Okay. To the and. They're never simultaneously true. So what we get is we get a false and a false here. So in this example, a very small propositional expression, okay, here. In this example, no matter what the inputs are to the proposition, okay, to the propositional expression, no matter what the inputs are, the output is always false. So in this case here, we call this type of proposition a contradiction. Okay? Okay? And if you think about it in the real world, 
If you say to your mother, I'm going to the shops, or I'm not going to the shops, you know you can never tell a lie, so it's always true. If you say to your mother, I'm going to the shops, and I'm not going to the shops, well, you can't do that, so it's always false. And these are examples of what we define to be tautologies, and what we define to be contradictions. Now, another type of proposition is a what's known as a contingency. A contingency is a propositional expression that is a mixture of true values and false values. So, for example, even the, the connectives that we defined uh, at the start of this particular, this particular uh, course in relation to propositional logic, you can see that the outputs, true and false, the outputs, false, true, 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 false, 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 true, 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 false, true. The outputs are mixtures of trues and falses. So actually these are known as contingencies. So these are actually examples. There's four examples of a, con a proposition that's a contingency. Okay, let's do something a little bit, a bit, little bit longer and let's try to test to see whether it's a tautology, a contradiction or a contingency. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to have a look at, let's have a look at 